Hi everyone, good to see you this week. It is the 13th Sunday of Ordinary Time. When we aren't feeling well, the people we love, the people who love us, want to help us feel better. How would you help someone you love when they're feeling down or not well? I bet you you do things like you go and you give them a hug or maybe tell them a joke to help cheer them up. Today's gospel tells a story of a father named Darius whose daughter is very sick. He wants her to feel better, so he asks Jesus to help her. Let's listen to this story, a reading from the gospel according to Mark. May Christ's words be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Jesus got into the boat and crossed Lake Galilee. Then as he stood on the shore, a large crowd gathered round him. The person in charge of the Jewish meeting place was also there. His name was Jairus. And when he saw Jesus, he went over to him. He kneeled at Jesus' feet and started begging him for help. He said, my daughter is about to die. Please come and touch her so she will get well and live. Jesus went with Jairus and many people along, uh, followed along and kept crowding around. A little while later, some men came from Jairus' home and said, Your daughter has died. Why bother the teacher anymore? Jesus heard what they said, and he said to Jairus, Don't worry, just have faith. Jesus did not let anyone go with him except Peter and the two brothers, James and John. They went home with Jairus and saw the people crying and making a lot of noise. Then Jesus went inside and said to them, Why are you crying and carrying on like this? The child is not dead. She is just asleep. But the people laughed at him. After Jesus had set them all out of the house, he took the girl's father and mother and his three disciples and went to where she was. He took the 12-year-old girl by the hand and said, Taluka kum, which means little girl, get up. The girl got right up and started walking around. Everyone was greatly surprised, but Jesus ordered them not to tell anyone what had happened. Then he said, give her something to eat. The gospel of the Lord. And we all say praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So in the gospel story today, we hear about a man named Jarius or Jarius. And who is he? What does he do? It says he's a ruler in the synagogue or a Jewish relig religious leader of the time. And what did he ask of Jesus? He asked Jesus to come and heal his very sick daughter. And so what did Jesus do? He followed him to his house. And then what happened? Before Jesus got there, some of the people came and said the daughter had already passed away. And what does tell Jesus tell Jarius to do? He tells Jarius to have faith and believe. And what did Jesus do when he got to the little girl's room? He told her to get up. And Jesus performed a huge miracle that day. He healed this child who was, came back from the dead. She got out of the bed. She was well. And he said, give her something to eat. Jesus healed those who were sick and suffering, and he asks us to care for those who are sick and suffering as well. We show our care for others when we ask for Jesus's help. How can we do this? You know, we can do this by praying for others that we know who aren't well and who, ne um, who need Jesus's healing of some kind in their life. We can ask in prayer that they experience Jesus' healing love and care. You know, Jesus loves and cares for each and every one of us. What he did in this story today, he will do for all of us at the end of time. Someday, we will all be raised up to life with him forever. Isn't that an amazing, special blessing? And with that in mind, let's pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And the response will be, Lord, hear our prayer for the church, that it may be filled with life, energy, and spiritual health. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer for peace in our world, that enemies will set aside their weapons and pursue 
peace. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all on summer vacation, that it may be a time of refreshment, healing, and renewal. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our country, as we celebrate our independence, we thank God for our religious and civil freedoms. For this, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those living with life-limiting ailments or the burden of a lifelong illness, may the Lord lay his hands on them and ease their pain and discomfort and improve the quality of their life. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who've been raised from their earthly home to live in glory with the Lord, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer and for the special intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's finish today with the prayer the glory be. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy Fourth of July, everyone. God bless.